All right, so what we have here is a rather thin um, fillet knife made by Gerber. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you how to find the sweet spot on the uh, blade itself so you can match up what cutting edge is actually on here. Ready? You're gonna wanna grab a uh, permanent marker. Just go down the edge of the uh, blade. Loosen up your bottom adjustment screws so it slides freely along the bar and what I'd like to do is somewhat eyeball it just to start off with using my finer stones and see where we're at you can see that it's hitting the lower part of the bevel so we need to come back a little bit so we'll move back into degree or two take another swipe and we're there so this is currently set at uh, 20 degrees. What we'll do is we'll go down to the tip to see where that's at. Now if you notice, it's not reaching the full apex of the edge. So what that tells me is that this blade needs to move back. So as you can see, we move back the blade and the vise. Now there's not much more room that we can move this blade back and you have to take into account that as people uh, originally sharpen these edges from the factory they tend to go a little more obtuse when it gets towards the tip of the blade so we're still at the 20 degree mark take a couple swipes you want to use your fine stones until you find where the bevel is actually at and since moving back the blade You can see that it's going halfway up the bevel and that's perfectly acceptable. Okay, so another trick that you're gonna wanna use is what you're gonna wanna do is go to your hardware store and pick up a variety of screws. And uh, what I'll do is I'll take this out of the vise, I'll switch it out, and I'll put this shorter screw in. That's how you find the sweet spot with your knife edge and match what's, uh, what's on there. Hope it was helpful. Take it easy.